but it's certainly worth it for us to to do this because it's an easy step that we can take to support uh, our community, but also to support you know our healthcare system, which we know is already sort of operating at max capacity and has been so for for a long time now. And this Manitoban church went from having in-person gatherings to streaming their worship services. Under current public health orders, faith-based gatherings can operate at 50% capacity or 250 people. However, the number cannot exceed more. Despite this, Sherwood Park Lutheran Church took it upon themselves to cancel in-person gatherings altogether and go entirely online right before Christmas Eve. We decided, um, I guess, on December 23rd uh, to announce that we would be moving to um, streaming only for our in-person, well, what would what was going to be our in-person Christmas Eve services. And that was in, in response to the news about um, the testing capacity being reached at COVID-19 test sites in, in Manitoba and in the high number of cases that were being reported. Christmas and Easter are the most highly attended services within the year, which is why Lutheran Church made this tough decision. There we had two uh, Christmas Eve in-person services with each with a hundred person capacity, you know, at the province's um, the guidelines of 50% capacity. So we thought we don't need to gather, you know, possibly two groups of hundred people together and, and risk transmission of the virus. And, and so we, we moved online and we said, we're just going to stay online in indefinitely until, um, you know, the circumstances change. And so, Reverend Parker says they are not the only church in Winnipeg that has done this. He says all other 14 Lutheran churches in the city have made the same decision, as well as Anglican churches also. It's not new to churches, and I think for churches it's it's relatively easy to switch compared to like a school, right? And we're not teachers who are planning a week's worth of lesson plannings. We're, we're planning for essentially one or two you know, weekly services that we're going to put online. Streaming online services isn't new for this Lutheran church. They have gone online in the past during the beginning of the pandemic in March 2020. They streamed their services up until September 2021, almost a year and a half of virtual worship. It's been a shift and it's been a challenge at times, but it's also opened lots of opportunities, connecting with people who even before the pandemic couldn't come to church and couldn't be a part of gatherings, whether, you know, maybe they were immune compromised, maybe they had mobility issues. All of a sudden they're, you know, they're gathering for worship the way everybody else is gathering for worship now. Welcome. Reverend Parker says switching to online services has opened a lot of doors and given them opportunities to learn. Now that we're sort of into it, it's become more part of just what we do. And, and that's been good. I don't think we'll ever go back to not live streaming our services in some way. And so people will be able to watch, you know, from all over the world. And we have people that are attending our services in other provinces and other countries and connecting us with us in new ways. And it sort of expanded the reach of our, our congregation and our community, which is a really exciting thing to see. In Winnipeg, Brianna Marcello, City News.